So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 6040 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this trade section will lift to reveal a space saver spare wheel. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge for the car. And then in the center, you can see the total miles, which are 24,678. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. And there are certain menus available as well. So uh, we're on the driving data menu at the moment, but you do have your satellite navigation, vehicle systems and user settings and they are all controlled just here we then have cruise control over that side and on the left hand side stereo and phone controls the phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car which is done over on the touch screen in the center just here so it is touch screen although you do have a few manual buttons down the right and left hand sides which you can use should you wish to so firstly you can go to all menus and pair your phone by hitting the phone icon and following the instructions on screen from there when it comes to music in this car, we, of course, have the radio. Uh, this car's got DAB and FM radio available down the bottom just there. We can go back a step and access our own music. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can listen to your music via uh, the radio, of course. A Bluetooth audio, USB input. Uh, you can listen to sounds of nature if you wish to. Depending on what phone you've got, we have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available. AM radio as well here and auxiliary input. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. If I put the vehicle into reverse, you'll then see the full color reversing camera as well. And of course, satellite navigation. Access down the bottom here. We've done a full video showing how that works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Uh, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and when you're happy with those settings uh, you can turn your air conditioning off or back on from here or hit auto the car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you any manual adjustment will turn auto off straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings underneath that we have two 12 volt charging sockets auxiliary and usb inputs just here a six speed manual gearbox and then these buttons so uh, firstly you can change at the bottom here the parking sensors you can turn on and off this one turns off the stop and start so this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic which in turn will save you fuel the system is off when that light shows and then these two i'll show you on the main screen so the first of those uh, will turn downhill brake control on or off and the second of those buttons will put the steering into normal sport and then back to normal again all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call either of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon